Hello, fellow followers. Welcome back to Fanzine. Greg here, and today I have for you history of horror hosts. Back in the 1950s, local TV stations in search of cheap programs bought packages of old horror B-movies, creating program slots with minimal production cost, where station employees were enlisted to moonlight as costume creatures to help showcase the movies. In 1954, a Finnish-American actress named Mela Nurmi debuted on KABC Los Angeles as the sexy Vampira. Although her show didn't last very long, it made a massive impression, creating the style of horror movie hosting. The phenomenon took off across America from local television stations to eventually mainstream TV and beyond. Welcome back to USA Up All Night. Oh, hi. Gilbert Godfrey, USA Up All Night. Joe Bob Briggs reminding you that the drive-in will never die. Hello, darlings. It's me, Elvira, Mistress of the Dark. Dylan is his camp lord saying goodnight. Ghostess with the mostest cremation mortem. I am Sammy Terry. Richard Friendly Neighborhood Night Owl with you. Gulardi's done drunk himself, handsome. I'm Janet Decay, the mummy. And I'm Grim Gordy, the monkey. Mr. Bad scary, right Mr. Scary! <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I like to use dirty words once in a while. Could be somebody rent the room now. <laughs> Let me check the door, I'll be right back. I'm Lenora, and welcome to Midnight Rental. Who? Why, it's me, old grandpa himself. This weekend, Spinguli prepare to meet the man from Planet X. My name is Pena Palmer. Mondo Creepy starts now. The horror movie format began to dwindle out in the 70s. However, by the 80s, Elvira's series Movie Macabre ushered in a new era and introduced the VHS generation to the horror host format. In doing this, it made her a household name. Elvira even parlayed her success into her own horror B movie, Elvira, Mistress of the Dark. She's the queen of late night horror. The gal who put the boob back in the boob tube. Busting onto the big screen. Who is this woman? Elvira in her first motion picture. Here's my big opening. See Elvira. Could you believe that cheesy looking monster? In Elvira. I need a job like a leper needs a three way mirror. Elvira, mistress of the dark. Be there or be square. Rated PG 13. Busting out everywhere September the 30th. In September of 2021, Shudder announced it would air Elvira's 40th anniversary, Very Scary, Very Special Special, a one-night event where Elvira would host a four-film marathon. Hello, darling. It's me, Elvira, Mistress of the Dark, and I'm coming to Shudder. Don't miss my 40th anniversary, Very Scary, Very Special Special, on Saturday, September 25th at 8 p.m. I put the spesh in special. So be there or be square. But if you square, you'll miss it. It's Elvira's 40th anniversary. Very scary, very special, special. Especially for you. <laughs> In 1985, the movie Fright Night was released, wherein a young whore fan discovers his next door neighbor is a vampire. Tom Holland, writer and director of the film, decided it would be natural for the boy to seek aid from his local horror host, saying, The minute I had Peter Vincent, I had the story. Charlie Brewster was the engine, but Peter Vincent was the heart. Me personally seeing Roddy McDowell play a horror host inspired by Peter Cushion and Vincent Price fighting a real-life vampire in Fright Night was a huge win for horror hosts and showed the cultural impact they had. Welcome... To Fright Night. For real. In January of 1989, comedian Gilbert Gottfried began hosting USA Up All Night on Saturdays. There he showcased cult classics and B-movies with his comedic flair. The show was split into two nights with Gottfried continuing Saturdays in New York and eventually, comedian and B-movie actress Rhonda Shearer taking over on Friday nights in Los Angeles. On her debut episode, Rhonda exclaimed, I got the job with a jiggle and a giggle. With Rhonda and Gilbert, Up All Night became huge for the USA Network, introducing a whole generation to films by Charles Band, Roger Corman, Lloyd Kaufman, and so many more. Keeping the audience... Up All Night with Gilbert Godfrey and Rhonda! Yeah! 
Can you say USA? Ah! All night? No, but I can watch you say it all night. <laughs> In April 2011, longtime local Chicago horror host Sven Gulli began to air nationally on MeTV. The show became a huge hit and has started to bring in millions of viewers. Sven Gulli is more popular today than he has ever been. MeTV decided to add 30 more minutes to his two-hour show. In order to fill that time, Rich Koss, who plays Sven Gulli, decided to add some fresh talent to the show. Enter the Sven Squad, Gwen Gulli, Nostalgia Ferratu, and Imp growing the show to even more popularity. This week on Svengooli... Uh, you were dead. Dead? Who? The, the mummy, the mummy. Which mummy? The mummy of Paris. Oh, that one. How stupid can you get? It's Abbott and Costello meet the mummy. Saturday night on MeTV. In 1986, America's foremost drive-in expert, Joe Bob Briggs, was asked to be a guest host on Drive-In Theater, a late-night B-movie show on the movie channel. His appearance went over so well that he eventually signed to a long-term contract. Joe Bob's Drive-In Theater became the network's highest-rated show and ran for almost 10 years. The show ended in early 1996. He was off the air for only four months before joining TNT's Monster Vision. Monster Vision would do double features and Joe Bob would appear between 16 and 24 times throughout the movies, significantly more than he did on his previous show. TNT would also add the segment Joe Bob's Last Call, which was used to showcase the final movie of the night. On Saturday, July 8th, 2000, Joe Bob unknowingly would host Monster Vision for the last time. Days later, he would receive a letter from TNT management stating that his services were no longer needed. Joe Bob would later appear in the 2020 documentary VHS Massacre 2, saying, I, I don't know if I would do a Monster Vision type show again, uh, simply because uh, TV has changed. Um, they, don't, they don't make space for that anymore. Right. So I don't think that world is coming back. <laughs> but, you know, TV constantly evolves, and, and, and very rarely do you see something that worked in one decade come back in another decade. In July of 2018, Shudder aired a 24-hour The Last Drive-In Marathon, intended to be Joe Bob's farewell to TV horror movie hosting. However, fans crashed Shudder servers the night the marathon aired, proving that there is still an audience for shows like Joe Bob's. After the marathon aired, Shudder brought Joe Bob back for two specials, then ordered The Last Drive-In to series. The show is now in its sixth season. Who says things like this don't come around again? Ladies and gentlemen, Joe Bob Ray. Horror's greatest host. Do you like this movie, Darcy? Is back. You should be very scared. They say yes. From the jamboree to the trailer park. Gonna have a good time. Screening some of the freakiest films around. The all-night orgy with Satan. With a murderer's row of guests. Roger Corman. Bruce Stern. And more. Roll it. The Last Drive-In with Joe Bob Briggs. New season starts March 15th with Shudder on AMC+. Today, horror movie hosting can now be found online and within the hearts of so many fans. Heck, I myself have dabbled a little bit as a horror host on my channel. Welcome back, boys and ghouls. The host here will bring you a new tale for Halloween for my good friend, the rookie critic. Who have you screaming, please? No more. <laughs> we have 34 breast, gratuitous hot tubbing, man in cheesy lizard suit, sorority hose down, some slapstick foo, drive in Academy Award nominations for legendary cult B movie director Jim Wynorski, who says, Thank you, baby, then proceeds to shove his date's head into his lap. Becky LeBeau for saying, I don't have any money. But I do have something else. Michelle Bauer as the legendary Scream Queen who says, Jim, are you hard? And then finally, for Richard Gabby who turns to his, uh, his girlfriend and says, No movies with messaging tonight, baby. Four stars. Greg Bob says, check it out. There you have it. History of horror movie hosts. Sound off in the comments below on your 
favorite hosts from local, online, or mainstream. If you like what you saw here, please consider giving this video a like, possibly share the video out for everybody to see, subscribe, and become a channel member because that would help out my channel immensely. Thank you and shout out to all my channel members. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. Thank you guys for being channel members here and for all of your support. And to everybody watching, whether you like me, hated me, or like this video, hated this video, I thank you for sticking this long. Wherever you all are, please have a great, safe, happy, healthy day, morning, afternoon, evening, and night. Always support physical media and horror hosting. Godspeed.